it's Alexa Chung here with my erstwhile friend. Tad Brown. That's it, he knows his name. Uh, we're here to play BuzzFeed's Keep or Cancel, it's actually called Cancel or Keep, 2010's Fashion Edition. Let's go. Silence on set, please. Flower crowns, how do we feel? Uh, okay, guilty, okay? I did a lot of flower crowns in the 2010s. A year, well, how long ago in the 2010s? I yes. actually think I did it in 2009, or even eight. Wow. Definitely there was a Coachella when I had one in, before Lana Del Rey wrote songs about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and before everyone had them on their heads. Wow. I didn't set the trend. I was gonna say, did you set the trend, do you think? Ooh, that, she thinks she did. All right, I like that. <laughs> I don't think I said that. But we used to walk around these fields with flower crowns on. Why? <laughs> well, we did a lot of crafting. I didn't really, ha I didn't have gainful employment at okay. the time. Okay, <laughs> you have a lot of spare time. <laughs> so I want to cancel them now because okay. it, it's just. I want to cancel them also. Yeah. Overalls. It depends what kind of overalls. If we're talking like jumpsuits, yeah. I'm all about that. Mm -hmm. But for, for men and women, but for women, I think you can get away with overalls. So I'm gonna say keep. For men, you definitely can't. I think they look terrible. This is so far a keep for me. I don't even know what the second option of like, keep forever. <laughs> I've, I've worn overalls since the 2010s yeah. and I haven't taken them off. I love them on women. I think a lot of the time, it, yeah, Dude's look a little bit peculiar in them. Yeah, that's true. It's a bit toddler, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crocs, it's a cancel like, immediately. Go, buy, I hate them boom, so done. badly. I we saw don't... somebody with them on yesterday, and you know, like, my brand is nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Air quotes is because he's actually nice guy. Really <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've always got a very Your brand opinion. and your real life personality is nice guy, yeah. <laughs> um, and I was in Starbucks, and I, I was, uh, if I haven't had my coffee, I'm not in like the perkiest of mm -hmm. books. Um, and I saw her in a crotch. Snacky in. queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I turned to her and so many said, I'm sorry, I disagree. <laughs> and then I just continued on with my coffee you order. Did it. Yeah. I love it. That's um, great. Okay, yeah. well, that poor person. Yeah. Chunky sneakers. But do you know what? They're really, they very, very comfortably walked away. They were like, <laughs> you don't know how cozy I am right now. Squeakily. <laughs> They're like, but <laughs> comfortably. <laughs> chunky um, sneakers. I know we're going to say cancel, but every now and then a chunky sneaker, I do like still. And let me say why. You are incredibly tall. Mm. I am not. <laughs> and so if you're around, I'm like, all right. By the way, don't try and act like I'm six foot something. Aren't you I'm like 5'11"? <laughs> no, I'm 5'8". <laughs> I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8", but then you wear a heel. Yeah, it's true. So she's often told me, so I have to wear a chunky sneaker. So I'm going to keep mine around. Okay. I don't love them, but I'm going to keep them because I'm surrounded by giants. I... I'm gonna cancel them. I love them in a Curb Your Enthusiasm way. Yeah. But beyond that, like it just got too trendy. Yeah. And my, honestly, my feet are too big for my legs. So. <laughs> That's yeah. actually true. Um, tiny sunglasses, f off. Um, okay, great. <laughs> Let's cancel those. <laughs> no, just like, it's too overstyled. Mm -hmm. Like everyone walking around, I'm not being specific, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's like we get it, crop top, combat pants, the tiny things perched on the edge mm -hmm. here, like you're like mm -hmm, a liar mm -hmm. or something. Just let it go, come up with your own version this generation. Come up with your own version. Agreed, that, that's a deal breaker for me. Morpheus. Yeah. Yeah, cancel. Cancel. Scrunchies. Love. They don't break your hair. They're just fine. <laughs> I'm impartial. Like, <laughs> Having just given you the big, like, find your own style, and as someone that only rips <laughs> off the 60s, I, I, I would like to apologize for that because I realize how um, hypocritical it is. <laughs> In London, it's kind of like a job that uh, people without a job do. They're like, I oh, have I a know. scrunchy brand. Oh, I know, I know a lot of those people. It's a thing in Utah, too. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like it. Okay, keep. keep. Man, Man buns. buns. Oh, I hated God. them even when they were. Why did a that thing. happen? That happened and we let it happen. I didn't. <laughs> I told everyone in my life who had one, you look like a C word. I definitely slept with people with man buns. Oh, <laughs> ew. ew! I can remember it. Oh. <laughs> Cheetah print. Okay. Uh. I know, I know. No, I love it. I'm just I like, do love it, and it's it's back again. I hate to say it is like it's it never for goes. Menswear. Yeah, it's a big trend. It doesn't ever go. In my opinion, it's a neutral. Like an animal print is often a neutral. I say the same thing. I think it's oh. the navy blue of the print world. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you making bold declarations. Um, um, fanny fanny packs. packs. I'm over it. Are you gonna? Break the news to them. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, listen, I love uh, my castmates do it and I love it so much and I loved it last year. Last year. But it was last, last year. Last year. No, I'm go. over it. Be gone. Yeah. 
Athlete. I love athleisure, not for uh, not for everyday wear. I just I I like nice clothing to wear to the gym. Yeah. So if you're doing it for that, yeah, keep it. If you, I know most of you at my brunch space when I'm lining up, waiting 25 minutes to get my damn breakfast uh, because you chose not to go to your yoga class and you never went to that yoga class, but you always insist on wearing that athleisure outfit. Like, back up. Like. Where? Chan. Choose a different outfit. Chan really needs some breakfast. I really so want hungry. my breakfast. This is a and you're still a yoga angry. Outfit. Can you feel the tone? He's <laughs> angry right now. If you give him some scrambled eggs after that, he's going to be like, I don't mind that. I'm back to Tan France. Um, I think uh, never liked it. Do you know what I like? I like the French approach, which is they hide the fact they go to the gym because their whole attitude oh. is like, no, I don't go to the gym. Like, what's a gym? And then they're like oh. taking the, peeling their oh. leggings off. Um, I'm into it. Just like, why do we all have to advertise that we're working out? Yeah. Just, I, Just work out. I don't care off. if you work out or not. <laughs> yeah, okay. I sometimes do and I sometimes don't. Millennial pink. I, I love pink in general. I don't care if it's millennial or not. I think I started millennial pink there. Oh my god. There, I've said it. <laughs> I wrote a book in 2011. It was called <laughs> It. Maybe it was 2013, and the cover of it was canvas millennial pink. And then when they did the, did I'm serious. When they did the roundup of the year of where millennial pink came from, my book wasn't included in it, and I was really sad. Well, we, she was robbed. No, I didn't invent millennial pink, but I did jump on the bandwagon. I love it. Do you hate it now? I don't know. It reminds me of like avocados on toast in a mid-century cafe. I'm cast. sorry. I'm going to stop you all real quick. <laughs> So go on, tell us about how why you dislike oh. millennial pink. What is that? Your nails! Oh, millennial pink! <laughs> <gasps> so we're gonna keep Keys. that. <laughs> Fruit and cheese. Okay. Yeah. No. Here's the thing. I now I know. I hate them on most people. What is it? Um, it, it, it depends. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't love it if it's hitting the ground and you've got a pair of jeans on. I just do not like it. I've not owned a full length pair of trousers for so long. <laughs> it's been a minute. Boot cut. Yes. I'm gonna say cancel. I wear them and I and it's done in a certain way. You wear them and it's done in a certain way. But most people are wearing it this way and I think it's heinous. Okay. So I'm gonna say cancel. Wedge sneakers, f off. Oh. Hey, I really wanna know more about how you feel about wedge sneakers. <laughs> I hate them so much. Hated I, them at the time. I hate, hate them, too. them still. I hate them. Like, it's no. Pass up pantsuits. I love a pantsuit. Was any that day a 2010s the week. trend? It's, it, I don't know, but it's still I around. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. So let's keep that. Let's keep them. Biker, biker shorts. <laughs> she also invented biker I did. shorts. I actually did. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, guys. Like, finally, I've given this platform to tell you the truth. No, I, I tried to make biker shorts happen in the 2010s, and no one was biting. And then last year, suddenly, yeah. everyone wanted to wear their cycling shorts with a beggy t-shirt and do whatever that filter mm -hmm. visco girls, whatever. Well, welcome to the party. I'm afraid you're a bit late. And you're already, already over it. No, I quite like them. We made, yeah, I quite like them. I like them, but I think, <laughs> I think they're very exclusive. It's really unfair. Like most people can't wear them and feel good about themselves. But weirdly, I think they're cozy. Chunky thighs, you get chafing. Biker shorts solve that problem because you're not, you're like, things don't rub together. We should have been No, I'm not going to be vagina shamed. Let's keep it then. We'll keep it. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry for the incendiary uh, comments and language. Make sure you watch Next in Fashion. It's available now on Netflix globally. You're going to love it, I promise.